Welcome to Retro Crisis. In this video, I'll be showing you Coco AIO. I'm assuming the AIO means all in one because it contains a wide variety of pre configured shader presets, bezels, backgrounds and overlays, and ambient lighting. In order to get Coco AIO up and running, the following settings worked for me. Firstly, open RetroArch, then go to settings drivers, video, and then select Vulkan. If Vulkan doesn't work for you, or if you're having difficulties with it, I've got a video linked in the description that might be able to help you. Go back to the main menu, go to online updater, go all the way down to update slang shaders, and then press enter. Once that's completed, go back to settings, and then user interface, show advanced settings, and then make sure this is switched to on. Go back, go up to video, go to scaling, aspect ratio, and make sure this is set to full. Go up to integer scale, and make sure this is off. Go back, and then go down to output. Go down to video rotation, make sure this is set to normal, and go back, and back again, when you're at settings, go down to core, go down to allow rotation, and make sure this is set to off. And that's it. Now you can close RetroArch and open it up again for the settings to take effect. And now all you need to do is open a game. Once the game's loaded, press F1 to go to the quick menu. And now if we want to load up Coco AIO, go down to shaders, and load. Shader Slang, Bezel, and Coco AIO. And here you'll see a list of all the presets within Coco AIO. Feel free to cycle through all these presets and I'm sure you'll find something interesting. Here's a quick demo of some of my favorites. Mm -hmm. 